Shipping just keeps getting faster and faster. Do either of you shop online? All the time. Online? Yeah. Amazon, everything. Diapers, wipes, just toys. I buy a lot of toys. It used to be five days, now it can be one day, or even the same day. Have you ever thought about a connection between getting a ship to you really fast and the environment? No, I haven't. Does it hurt it? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm killing the environment. I'm starting this journey with Dr. David Nowicki at the University of North Texas and the Center for Logistics and Supply Chain Management. But so if you're looking at that button, it says I can get this in three days or five days, or I can get it today. You're like, sweet, I'll get it today. Right. Is there an environmental hidden cost that you don't see in that button? There's no question in environmental hidden cost. I would say that um, as you get faster and faster shipping, it gets worse and worse for the environment. And no one is faster than Amazon. They can do it because they've built a giant network of fulfillment and distribution centers. Many of them are close to where you live, 149 by the end of the year, and 11 are in Texas. Amazon declined to be in this story. For them to offer that, they need to have the product almost co-located to where the customer is. The most efficient way to ship is on a fully loaded truck. A big shipping company takes everyone's products, consolidates them onto trucks that are destined for a particular neighborhood, then those trucks head out loaded up with boxes. That saves a lot of fuel. So when you have some time, when you have standard delivery, three, five days and so forth, it allows you time to do the consolidation. Are these trucks going out full? Uh, for the same day delivery, the answer is no. Uh, they're not going out full. Not picking this up? Is that what I was supposed to do? I'm at a UPS distribution center now to learn how important efficiency is in the shipping business. This is telling us that it's going to go to this car and this location on the car. My guide is Mark Modesti with UPS, and he knows how to navigate this maze of efficiency. You know your way out of here? <laughs> <laughs> I'll never make it out. UPS is into alternative fuels, hybrids, and electric trucks. But what's just as important is how a truck is loaded. What's the concept between where a package is yeah. loaded and why? So there's eight sections on the car. And it's delivered sequentially, yeah, one to eight? Yeah. How do you use technology to squeeze the inefficiency out of your driving systems? So it all comes down to optimization. In 2016, UPS launched a system that analyzes all the variables on a route. Then it maps out turn by turn the most efficient path for a driver. UPS says it's now saving 100 million miles a year for drivers like Bruce Porter. You can kind of look at your whole day from the first stop all the way down to, like this route here possibly has uh, 144 stops for the day. This is the most efficient way to drive. Yes, it is. What I'm learning is that big shippers try to use the least amount of fuel to move one box. But when you're shopping online and you say you want it now, it's harder to take advantage of all those efficiencies. The better you are at moving a package from point A to point, point B with the least energy expended, the more environmentally friendly you are. Check out this research paper from MIT. It compared traditional shopping to online shopping and found online has a smaller environmental footprint. But when online shoppers choose a faster shipping option, they actually have the biggest footprint because it takes three times the energy to ship the package to their house. Dr. Josue Velasquez is a researcher at MIT's Sustainable Logistics Initiative, and he's testing an idea called the Green Button. What if instead of trying to optimize the supply of this, of this logistics uh, service, you work with the consumer? Try to convince the consumer that it's worth waiting uh, one, two, three days more uh, by trying to touch a sensitive topic, which is the, the environmental impact. The green button tells a customer that by choosing a slower shipping option, they can save 100 trees. He's been testing it with Mexico's largest retailer. 40% of them said or claimed that they are willing to wait. Is it, are you, is it really possible that like my one package, if I delay my one package by two or three days, you could really save 100 trees? Absolutely. I mean, the energy will be equivalent to that. If, if you can wait and the other can wait, the other can wait, you can always find a day in which you can put all of them together. 
So what do we verify? Well, people don't really think about it, but faster shipping does have an impact on the environment. So if you don't need it right now, don't have it delivered right now. If you've got something you want verified, send me an email.